Member North Vancouver Lonsdale. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. The year is 1933. Simon Fraser Tomey is the Premier of BC. The Prime Minister of Canada is Richard Bedford Bennett, and Franklin D. Roosevelt is the President of the United States. It's June 6. It's a Tuesday. In Vancouver, not surprisingly, it's raining. Not a lot, just a tad, and deep inside of Vancouver General Hospital somewhere, a little child is born. A little boy. Growing up in a family of 10 in Mount Pleasant, this boy would lead a very full life. He will attend Florence Nightingale Elementary School as a child and then King Edward High School as a teenager. Earning his first wages at the age of 12, his life will lead him through many impressive accomplishments, including becoming a professor at Harvard University, chief economist at the Royal Bank of Canada, and even a professional engineer. After tragically losing his wife of 43 years in a health-related emergency, this man will make the decision to enter public life and in 2001 was elected to the Legislative Assembly of BC where he has served for 17 years so far. This man probably doesn't remember this, but I actually met him originally in 2007. As a student politician, I had come to Victoria to advocate for students on a variety of issues. Well. We didn't agree on much then, and we certainly don't agree on much now, but you don't have to agree with someone to respect them, even if they're on the Hansard record slamming you for your Twitter feed. <laughs> in 2017, this man became the oldest person to be elected in the history of BC politics, and in less than one week from today, on June 6th, he will turn 85 years old. From the youngest, to the oldest, I ask that the House <laughs> please join me in wishing our colleague, the MLA for West Vancouver Capilano, a very happy, though slightly early, 85th birthday. Hey.